Hello, welcome to Edexcel IT Guru YouTube channel. Today we will discuss on Edexcel IT Unit 1 paper, Chapter 1, Subsection of Computer Number Systems. Under the section Number Systems of Chapter 1, we are covering the following subtopics. What is a number system, decimal number system, binary number system, denary to binary and binary to denary conversion, practice questions, ASCII and Unicode. Why is a number system and why we need it in computers? Because computers cannot understand human languages. So to understand the commands and instructions given to the computers, different number systems are used. There are different number systems such as binary system, the octal system, the decimal system, the hexadecimal system and so on. We are used to the decimal or the denary base 10 number system. Decimal number system is a base 10 number system having 10 digits from 0 to 9. This means that any numerical quantity can be represented using these 10 digits. Decimal number system is also a positional value system. This means uh, that the value of digits will depend on its position. Let's take this example to understand this. Say we have three numbers, 734, 971, and 207. The value of 7 in all three numbers is different. In 734, the value of 7 is 700. In 971, value of 7 is 70. In 207, value of 7 is 7. The weightage of each, po uh, each position can be represented as in this table. In digital systems, uh, instructions are given through electric signals. So variations is done by varying the, uh, changing the voltage of the signal. So having 10 different voltages to implement decimal number system in digital equipment is really difficult. So many number systems uh, that are easy to implement digitally have been uh, developed. Let's look at them in detail. <clears throat> the easiest way to vary instructions through electric signals is two-state system, on and off. On is represented as one and off is as zero. Though zero is not actually no signal, but signal uh, at a very, very lower voltage. The number system having just these two digits, 0 and 1, is called the binary number system. Each binary digit is also called a bit. Uh, you can see in red how the bits word has uh, come. Binary digits has shortened as bits. <coughs> binary number system is also a positional value system where each digit has a value expressed in uh, powers of 2 as displayed here in this table. Uh, the rightmost value is 2 to the power 0. So starting from that, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, likewise, it goes uh, towards the left side. So how are we going to do the binary to denary conversion? You are given a binary number that has zeros and ones. Uh, like uh, in any binary number, the rightmost digit is called the least significant bit. Uh, shorten as LSB and the leftmost uh, digit is called as most significant bit called as MSB. Now look at the workout shown in the right side uh, diagram. Now you are given a binary number as 1010. Uh, you need to write down the binary number and then under each binary digit you need to write the place values such as 2 to the power 0 starting from the right side. And then we can do the conversion as shown in the third row. Uh, now you have the pay, uh, place values in the first row and then you have the binary values that is given to uh, convert. And then you are doing the conversion. Like in the uh, last column that I have shown, the place value is 2 to the power 0. And the binary value that is given is a 0. So 0 into 2 to the power 0 is 0. 
so you are getting the decimal value for this value as zero likewise you can do for all the binary uh, numbers given and then by adding them all together you get the final decimal number so that is so 10 is the decimal value that is corresponding to the binary number 1010 now let's look at how we can convert decimal to binary uh, we can keep on uh, when you are given a, a decimal number in this example it's converting binary 17 to a binary so we can keep on dividing the decimal number uh, by 2 to convert it to binary and then we need to write the remainders from bottom to top uh, to top to get the final binary value uh, look at the working done in the diagram uh, 17 divided by 2 is 8 with a remainder of 1 then 8 divided by 2 is 4 with a remainder of 0 then 4 divided by 2 is 2 with remainder of 0 2 divided by 2 is 1 so when we put all remainders from bottom to left uh, top we get 1 0 0 0 1 as the binary number of decimal 17 always remember that you need to write all the remainders from bottom to top okay here are a few easy questions to practice the conversion from binary to denary and denary to binary okay so far we have talked how numbers are working uh, in the computers how uh, computers understand the numbers besides these numbers numerical data computer must be able to handle uh, letters like alphabets punctuation marks special characters etc uh, so that uh, those are forming the complete character set of english language the complete set of characters or symbols are called the alphanumeric codes the complete alphanumeric code typically includes 26 uppercase letters uh, this is in english language 26 uppercase letters 26 lowercase letters 10 uh, digits from 0 to 9 7 punctuation marks and uh, special characters now a computer understands only numerical values so what we can do whatever the number system the computer understands so all characters must have a numerical equivalent called the alphanumeric code the most widely used alphanumeric code is american standard code for information interchange uh, shortened as ascii we call this at ascii and uh, the longer name is american standard code for information interchange ascii is a seven bit code that has 122 possible codes uh, 120 uh, 20 sorry 128 is coming uh, as 2 to the power 7 2 to the power 7 where the variations are 128 so ascii has a maximum uh, number of 128 possible codes uh, you don't have to remember anything in this uh, ascii code table i just put it so that you understand there are ascii values for uh, digits uh, from the start uh, 0 to 9 and then you have ascii values for 1 to sorry a to uh, z uh, for uppercase letters and then then simple lowercase letters and then for the special characters uh, try to write your name in ascii i have given how the name john can be written using ascii codes uh, when you are given uh, when you are asked to convert uh, your name let's say a word or a name or something you need to get the first letter whether it's uppercase letter or lowercase letter and get the corresponding ascii value likewise uh, this is how we write john in ascii code ascii we, uh, we learned that it is developed for english language right so then what happens to other languages that is why the unicode system started Unicode is an international coding system designed to be used with different language scripts. Unicode uh, provides a unique number for every character, no matter what the platform, uh, no matter what the program, no matter what the language is. So with this, we conclude uh, the
the unit 1 chapter number system section in the next video we will discuss on calculating file sizes and the time to transmit over media good luck